Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody, all the students of Universal Church of God, a church for all. Well, whatever you are watching us or you are following us, I, your humble servant, Pastor Victor Maconda of Universal Church of God, a church for all. First of all, I'm going to apologize because of uh, the... the a delay I have been working uh, even now I'm just uh, forcing myself to uh, catch up um, because I have been very busy I'm still very busy it's not easy for me because um, my wife also is working the one who's supposed to translate but by God's grace we are we are there and uh, trying to do our best to do the work of God as well. Mm. So to, um, we are going to talk about our um, 60 second lesson, which is going to talk about the millennium, which I, um, uh, I taught already since 2019 during the first confinement. And so I'm just going to include it in the ministry school, uh, but I'm going to summarize it because uh, you know everything. And I'm going to post later. Mm, I did it already. I post all the videos uh, um, that I spoke about uh, Millennium and the second coming of Jesus Christ. Mm, I did my best to, 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 talk, to talk about it. Mm. But first of all, we are going to pray, and then I'm going to summarize uh, the millennium for you to know it and to be able to teach it. Father, we give you praise and we thank you for uh, this opportunity. Uh, we want to talk about you. Holy Spirit, come and let's teach together. Because without you, I am no, nothing. Come and grant us good understanding for this lesson. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and we say, Amen. Mm, hallelujah. So, um... I decided because last last time I didn't talk about the 75 days of um, uh, that Daniel is talking about in the book of Daniel chapter 12. I didn't talk about it. I'm going to start uh, speaking about the millennium by explaining the 20, uh, the 75 days, the first 75 day, uh, days uh, of the millennium, I'm going to explain it uh, briefly, and then I'm going to talk about all the events which are included in the millennium and um, the characteristics of the millennium and the temple of the millennium. And also, uh, I'm going to talk about the government of the millennium. Um, briefly, for you um, to be able to have at least all the headlines um, or the subtitles of uh, the millennium and to be able to teach them. Mm, hallelujah. Mm, so, uh, first, we are going to read um, Daniel chapter 12. We are going to read Daniel chapter 12, uh, verse 7 verse 9 and verse 12 for us to understand the 70 the 75 days of Daniel although you have been um, I think you heard about it but you don't know the meaning uh, because when we're gonna read Daniel chapter 12 from verse 7 to 12 then you are going to understand uh, that um, this period of uh, uh, the first 75 days are 
is um, are divided in through uh, three are divided in three periods of times. The first period is three years and a half of the great tribulation. Meanwhile, the second and the third period have got 75 more days. You see? And then at uh, the end of the chapter uh, 12, you're going to read it. It's also well explained. In fact, let me uh, uh, read it uh, right now for you to understand it clearly. It's also well explained in French. I explained it very well in French. Let me read it for you. So now look where um, the three period, the, the three periods of uh, the 75 days as it's described in the book of uh, Daniel chapter 12 uh, from verse 7. And look at the first period. And I heard the man clothed in linen who was above the waters of the river when he held up his right and his left his left hand toward the heavens and swore by him who lives forever that it shall be for a time. Listen now very well. I start speaking about that three years and a half. That it shall be for a time. Times and a half a time or three and one half years. You see, it's well said here in um, Daniel chapter 12, verse 7. And when they have made an end of chattering and crushing the power of the holy people, all these things shall be finished. You see, this is when we are talking about the 75 days of Daniel. Mm. So it means that they're going to be, they're going to be three years and a half. That is the first time. And later he talks, he said, times and a half a time. You see, it means, this means three and one half years. Now, let's go forward now. I'm going to now explain the second period and the third period. Mm. Hallelujah. Now, listen. And I heard, but I did not understand. Then I said, Oh, my Lord, what shall be the issue and the final end of these things? And he, I mean the angel, said, Go your way, Daniel, for the words are shut up and sealed till the time of the end. You see here they are speaking about the end time. They are speaking about the end time. Remember, our headline, our big topic is the millennium. And I'm explaining events which is going to occur, happen within the millennium. That is what I'm trying to summarize because I didn't speak about, the, uh, about this um, in my previous video when I talked about millennium. That is the reason why I promised you to explain it, to summarize what I said um, two years ago for every one of us to be able to teach about the end time. 
Hallelujah. Because I do believe, and this is my ministry, as I always repeat to you guys, we have a church must prepare the people, the members of the church, for the second coming of Jesus Christ, for the end time, because this time will pass away. Hmm? So remember the Bible studies of uh, yesterday about the promised land, the new Jerusalem, as I explained it, because many people do think that new Jerusalem is in the heaven. No, for now it's in the heaven because it's, uh, it's already planned by God, but it will descend here on earth. Jesus Christ will reign here within thousand years. Oh! I'm waiting for that time. Very powerful. Hallelujah. So let's go ahead. Many shall purify themselves and make themselves white and be tried, smelted and refined. But the wicked shall do wickedly and no one of the wicked shall understand. But the teachers and those who are wise shall understand. You can read this in Daniel chapter 11, verse 33 to 30, 35. Yeah. I have explained all these passages already in our previous lesson. But let me explain it again. All those who are going to understand it at the time, it's we Christians. Because like you and me as a Christians, we know Matthew 24 very well. We know all the signs. We know all the signs that are predicted by the Bible. And we are living all those signs. So we can understand nowadays that the world is going uh, uh, almost to the end. But the wicked, they will not understand. Why? Simply because they do believe that they're going to live forever on earth. And so they, they can live their, their, their life the way they want it. You see? Uh, now, and from the time, verse 11, and from the time that the continual burnt offering is taken away and the abomination that makes desolate is set up, there shall be, you see, this is the second period. There shall be 1,290 days. You can read it in Daniel chapter 11, verse 31. This is the second time of those uh, 75 days. This is the second time. It's well written. And from the time that the continual burnt offering is taken away and the abomination that makes the abomination that makes desolate is set up. So this period is what we are reading in the book of uh, Matthew chapter 24, when the abomination of desolation will come. This is the period indeed. You can also go to Matthew chapter 24, check it there and read it. And now, the third period, the last one, the last one, the last one is now, the last one is this, verse 12. Blessed, happy, fortunate, spiritually prosperous, and to be invited is he who waits expectantly and earnestly who endures without wavering beyond you see now the period of tribulation and comes to the you see then from those 1000 of verse 11 1000 to 190 they're gonna add some days you see, because here they are talking beyond the period of tri tribulation and comes to the thousands and thirty three. No, thousands, one thousand 
335 days. You see? But you, Daniel, who now, who is, who was now over 90 years of age, go your way until the end, for you shall rest and shall stand fast in your allotted place at the end of the days. Hebrew chapter 11, 32. 40 you know so uh, here I wanted uh, I, I just wanted to uh, let you uh, understand how those um, three periods uh, of Daniel uh, will be uh, is uh, um, described in the Bible for you to know that it's divided in two period in three period in three period. You see, so you can read it in uh, the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 15. So I think I have tried to do my best to explain, to explain it very well. So uh, the first period is going to have 1,260 days, which is going to be achieved uh, during the period of the destruction of the beast according to Daniel chapter 7 verse 25 as we read it also in the uh, the book of Daniel chapter 12 verse 7 you know so that period is corresponding to the period of the great tribulation great tribulation and then the second period, the second period, it's what we just read in Daniel chapter 12, verse 11, which going to have 1,290 days, you know, uh, as it's uh, described in the Bible. We call it a period of abomination, mm, abomination, mm, you know. And the last one, the last period, is that period of 1,335 days. It's like they have added 45 days because if you do uh, 1,335 minus 1,290, you have 45 days extra you know which go is going to explain the promise as it's said in the uh, daniel chapter uh, ch chapter ch chapter 12 for you to know uh, how uh, those uh, 75 days that daniel uh, spoke about mm, you know but um, just reminding you that we Christians, the church is not, that is my point of view, because there are some pastors, many of us, they don't, uh, um, they never read um, um, this chapter very well, and they are not able to explain all this, uh, all this we are living nowadays on earth, as they are not able, so they don't believe they don't believe they don't believe uh, but this is the way we're supposed to explain it millennium is real that even was the title of my lesson millennium is real is real jesus christ is uh, uh will come for the second time to reign here on earth hallelujah so which are the events uh, which are included um, in the millennium? The first one is uh, the judgment of pagans, I mean the Gentiles, in the valley of Jehoshaphat. Remember what I explained to you last time. And the second event is the judgment of the Jewish who will enter to the millennium. 
Hallelujah. Mm. Remember, I gave you all the kinds of judgments, you know, because uh, do not be deceived um, by all those who are talking evil about uh, uh, Jerusalem. Jerusalem was, uh, as Donald Trump said again, that he made it a capital of Israel. All this is showing us the end time that Jesus Christ is coming soon because they have to recognize Jerusalem as a, a, a capital of Israel. Hallelujah. And uh, another event is going to be the building of the new temple because now... Now, for all those who are following or watching TV, uh, if you are following uh, Al Jazeera, for instance, uh, or I24, we have a channel here called I24. I do follow it from time to time because it's an um, uh, Israel channel. You know, um, now, um, why Jesus Christ is going to build the new temple? Because that new that, that that temple of solomon now is occupied by muslims it's occupied by muslims mm, you know so jesus christ is going to destroy it and build another new temple and then we're going to have a new government a new government under the leadership of jesus christ because he is the king He's coming to reign. And then they're going to distribute portion of land to the tribes of Israel. That is what you're supposed to know. I'm just um, summarizing the millennium up, how it's going to be. Hallelujah. And now let's talk about the government. That government going to be a uh, theocratic government. I think all of us, we know what uh, we call a theocratai <clears throat> a country or theocrat, theocratai um, nation. Theocratai nation is um, a nation or a city, a country that is led by um let's say a religious government because that government gonna be led by Jesus Christ as a king you know so during the millennium the government is going to be a theocratic government led by Jesus Christ as a king and the 12 apostles, this is the second aspect, the 12 apostles will reign, will reign with the 12 tribes of uh, Jerusalem, of Israel, I mean of Israel. We can read it in the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter 28. I think you all know it. Oh, let us read it anyway. Matthew chapter, I just want to demonstrate it somewhere in the book of Matthew chapter 19 verse 28. We're going to read it for you to know and to be sure that the 12 disciples, they're going to lead, they're going to lead with Jesus Christ. And um, Matthew chapter 19, verse 28, Jesus said to them, Truly I say to you, in the new age, in the new age, I mean the messianic rebirth of the world, when the Son of Man shall sit down on the throne of his glory, you who have become my disciples, sided with my party, and followed me, 
will also sit on twelve thrones and judge the twelve tribes of Israel. You see it? So the twelve disciples are going to judge the twelve tribes of Israel. And then all the saints gonna resurrect and they're gonna lead they're gonna reign in that government with Jesus Christ hallelujah now uh, section C section C um, the characteristics of millennium. Okay, first of all, uh, we have to notice that Jerusalem, um, Jerusalem, gonna be the capital, um, this the center um, of the world. Um, the new Jerusalem. Uh, You can read it in uh, the book of Ezekiel, in chapter 48, verse 35. Mm. Jerusalem going to be the new center of the world with a new name, Jehovah Shammah. Mm. Jehovah Shammah, which means which means the Lord is there. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let us read it. Um, Ezekiel chapter 48, verse 35. Look what it's written. The distance around the city shall be 18,000 four times four thousand five hundred measures and the name of the city from that day and ever after shall be the Lord is there. The Lord is dead, which means Jehovah Shama. Mm, hallelujah. It's also well described in the book of Revelation, verse 21. No, chapter 21, from verse 12, 13, and 16. You can also read it. Uh, uh, hallelujah. And Satan, the second aspect of the millennium, of uh, the characteristics of the millennium, Satan is going to be imprisoned for a 1,000 years. This one, I have explained it already in my video. So this is written also in the book of uh, Micah, uh, in the book of Micah, chapter chapter four, ver from verse one to three. Mm, it's written, but in the latter days it shall come to pass that the mountains of the house of the Lord shall be established as the highest of the mountains, and it shall be exalted above the hills, and the people shall flow to it. Hallelujah. Praise God. And many nations shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways, and we may walk in his paths. For the law shall go forth out of Zion, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. 
and he shall judge between many peoples and shall decide for strong nations afar off and they shall beat the swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nations. Never shall they lead war anymore as we read in the book of Isaiah chapter 2 from verse 2 to 4. Hallelujah. Praise God. This is marvelous. And uh, the sixth the sixth characteristics it's uh, 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 written in the book of Isaiah chapter 33 verse 24 the universal healing we're gonna get during the millennium we will have universal universal healing by eating fruits and um, uh, the trees which gonna be I mean uh, planted along the river mm, from the throne of God along the river. Mm. It's well written here in the book of Isaiah. Let us read it in the book of Isaiah 33 verse 24. Isaiah 33 verse 24. And no inhabitant of Zion will say, I am sick. You see, the people who dwell there will be forgiven their iniquity and guilt. That is the reason why I said that we're going to have universal healing. Mm, hallelujah. And uh, if you go to Isaiah chapter 35 from verse 3 to 6, look what it's written. Strengthen the weak hands and make firm the feeble and tottering knees. Say to those who are of a fearful and hasty heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance, with the recompense of God. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Then shall the lame man leap like a heart and the tongue of the dumb shall sing for joy. Hallelujah. For waters shall break forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 11, verse 5. Mm, hallelujah. You see how beautiful our life going to be during those days. Mm, hallelujah. And our lifestyle, uh, we're going to live long life. We're going to live long life. According to Isaiah 65, verse 20. We're going to live long life. Praise God. I remember this passage. The youth going to be 100 years. Hallelujah. Look what it's written. There shall no more be in it an infant who lives but a few days or an old man who dies prematurely. For the child shall die at a hundred years old and the sinner who dies when only a hundred years old shall be taught only a child cut off because he is accursed mm, hallelujah you can read it keep on reading reading it and uh, you're gonna find marvelous things there um as i told you i'm just summing up uh, the message uh, for us to be able to
to talk about the characteristics of the millennium. Mm, uh, hallelujah. They're going to be uh, increasing. Uh, I, I mean, um, the light will, will increase. Uh, mm, the light of the sun going to be seven times increased. And the light of the moon going to be like the light of uh, the day. To, uh, of today mm, hallelujah all this is well said in Isaiah chapter 30 mm, chapter 30 verse 26 uh, 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 hallelujah um, moreover the light of the moon will be like the light of the sun and the light of the sun will be sevenfold like the light of seven days in the day that the Lord binds up the heart, uh, bind, binds up the heart of his people and heals their wound. Mm, hallelujah. It's going to be very very beautiful mm. let's read the same thing also in the book of isaiah chapter 60 verse from verse 18 to 22 you can read it there violence shall no more be heard in your land no devastation or destruction within your borders but you shall call your walls salvation and you get praise. What kind of peace? What a peace. My goodness. Hallelujah. The sun shall no more be your light by day, nor for brightness shall the moon give light to you, but the Lord shall be to you an everlasting light. Mamma mia. And your God, your glory, and your beauty. Oh, Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. It's uh, also written in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 9, verse 23 to 24, and Revelation 21, verse 23, as I explained yesterday in the Bible studies. Your sun shall no more go down. Hallelujah. Nor shall your moon withdraw itself. Never. For the Lord shall be your everlasting light, and the days of your mourning shall be ended. Hallelujah. Your people also shall all be righteous. They shall possess the land forever. Hallelujah. The branch of my planting the work of my hands that I may be glorified. The least one shall become a thousand and the small one a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten in it its time, in his appointed time. All this will happen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Even animals will live for a long time. Hallelujah. So these are the characteristics of uh, the millennium. Now, the last section, we're going to talk about the temple of the millennium. How going to be the temple of the millennium? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Very beautiful. So the future temple is going to be in the north of Jerusalem. Uh, the north of Jerusalem, the temple going to be at the Shiloh, uh, where the tabernacle uh, was after uh, the children of Israel um, got the promised land uh, within the reign of Joshua. I mean, Joshua, Joshua, I mean, Joshua, sorry. Mm, yeah, they're going to be... Uh, a way that they are going to build from the temple uh, from Shiloh to Jerusalem. 
Hallelujah. And the whole quarter of the government is going to be in Jerusalem. I think I explained it already in the book of Isaiah, chapter 35, from verse 8 to verse uh, 10. Uh, you can read it. Hallelujah. And uh, you can read also uh, how um, the, the priesthood of Aaron going to be established with the son of uh, Zedek. We can read it from uh, Isaiah, uh, Ezekiel, sorry, chapter 44 from verse 15 to 31. You can read it. I'm just going to introduce it for you to know that uh, in that temple, um, in, in that temple, the Bible is saying, but the Levitical priests, the sons of Zedek, who kept the charge of my sanctuary, when the children of Israel went astray from me, shall come near to me to minister to me, and they shall attend me to offer to me the fat and the blood, says the Lord God. They shall enter into my sanctuary, and they shall come near to my table to minister to me, and they shall keep my charge, and so on and so forth. You can read it on, uh, uh, to the end. Mm, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, two parties are going to be observed during the millennium. It's uh, uh, Passover and the party of tabernacles. Hallelujah. Passover without the lamp and the party of tabernacles. And second aspect or characteristics of the temple of the uh, millennium is that the Levites are going to work. They are going to work for God. You know, they are going to work for God. They are going to keep the doors, I mean the gates. They are going to kill animals, you know, for, for people, you know. And um, um, the temple, this new temple, this is the third characteristics. This new temple will not have for nature as it was in the temple of Solomon. No. One, one, just one table for the bread of proposition that symbolized the communion with God but the, 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 we'll, we'll have only the throne of God, Jesus Christ, who's going to reign to control all the earth. So in that temple, you know, you know, stress yourself like uh, our churches now, uh, you need to buy instruments, buy this and buy that. No, no, no. Because the glory of God is going to be enough in that temple. So we don't need uh, furniture in that temple. Only the table of um, the table, um, one table, um, because of the bread of proposition. You know, let us read it in the book of Ezekiel, chapter, uh, chapter 43, verse 7. Ezekiel chapter 43, verse 7. And he, I mean the Lord, said to me, Son of man, this is the place of my throne and the place of the soles of my feet, where I will dwell in the midst of the children of Israel forever. It's clear. They said forever. Hallelujah. And my holy name, the house of Israel, shall no more profane, neither they nor their kings by their 
Petrus had lotly gnawed by the dead bodies and monuments of their kings. Hallelujah. You can continue to read it and you're going to see them how marvelous going to be that temple. And we have also the river that's going to pass by the temple from the gate of the east to the south of Jerusalem. All this is written in the book of Ezekiel uh, chapter 47 from verse 1 to 12. You can read it. You're going to see how it's described. Mm, how that temple... Read it, please. Read it. Read it seriously. Read it. Uh, verse... No, Ezekiel chapter 47 from verse 1 to 12. It's very, very powerful. Mm, read it. And uh, Zechariah chapter 14 verse 8 read then you're gonna see the uh, how um, um, the healing of the nations um, gonna depend from the trees and um, the trees um, very powerful very powerful read uh Ezekiel chapter 47 very well from verse 1 to 12. Please read it. And you're going to see how uh, powerful going to be uh, the temple. I think I, I have explained um, or summarized the millennium as well. And uh, this is our last lesson. May you have, enjoy your holidays and I wish you all the best in Jesus mighty name, Amen. God bless you, bye bye.